Yeah, welcome back to the video sequence of how to connect to the Microsoft Dynamics CRM web API using the XWay API management solution. In this step, we will configure the OAuth client application in XWay, um, which is basically the opposite of the application we have configured in the first step in uh, AAD. And this configuration includes basically that we have to tell the API management system where is the authorization server. This includes token endpoints, etc. And it is, of course, the Active Directory. The next thing is that we have to take over the client application details about that app we have configured. This includes client ID and secret. Um, and to complete the setup, we have to tell which OAuth flows we would like to use and uh, we have to insert the right, right scopes. And this is something we really do now in real, we do it live. And to get started, I go into the um, so-called policy studio, which is the studio or the configuration UI, which is used to set up um, things that should be executed in the runtime on the API management system. And we would like to become a client uh, of an OAuth um, authorization server. And this is something you can easily configure in the external connection section, section where you have different options to configure client credentials. And I would like to add a new client credentials for OAuth, a provider setting at the beginning. And to do that, we say um, add a new one. And we know we need to talk to Azure AD. And we have now to provide the authorization URL and the token URL. And this is something you can easily take out of the Azure portal. In the section where you have registered your application, there is something which is called endpoints. And this gives you an overview about the, especially about the OAuth token endpoints we are interested in right now. So to do that, we take out the authorization endpoint and put it into the authorization URL. And the second thing we would like to do is to take over the access token endpoint and copy it in here. Um, there's one special thing at AD that they are expecting on the authorization endpoint, um, a, a resource which is limiting the access token finally to be used on, on that resource given here. So that means you cannot use that token for any services. It is limited to that resource. And to provide the resource, you have to use out of your application, you have configured before um, that homepage URL. You can easily copy and paste it here out of your, you see that it is once again, um, or that is your tenant ID. Copy that thing and then make it part as a parameter, which is called resource. And of course, you have to URL encode it. Finally, it should look basically like this. And then you are done. Um, the next thing is that you have to tell the system um, to store the access token store or where to store the final client access token store. You can set up multiple ones. I'm happy with the default one. And um, then you are done. The next thing is that we have now to add the real OAuth 2 client credentials to it, means your application details. Provider settings are good. And now we add OS2 credentials. Say add. And once again, add, let's say, the name. This is the CRM app. And now we have to tell the client ID. And client ID, um, this is something you find here, application ID. And it's here somewhere you can grab it, click, copy it, and then put in the client ID over here. And then the second thing is the secret you have generated before. And the secret I have placed here somewhere else. And so I mean, I have now added it. And the next thing is that you have to configure the right OAuth flow type. In our case, the authorization code is good because we need to have that authorization code flow as a requirement for user-based access. 
the last thing you have to you you have to insert is the redirect URL, which is sent by sent out by the API management system to the authorization endpoint, where the where the client should be finally redirected back to me, and this URL is where the authorization code is then collected. And in my case, it should be my API management system give a port, and then you have something like a callback. Final thing we need to do is to tell the authorization server, hey, I would like to have an OpenID connect token back from you. And this is the default to do that. Just send the scope OpenID connect. Um, last thing, set this um, that the client ID and client secret, basically that stuff should be sent in the query string. This is the expectation from the Azure AD and not in the authorization header. Say OK, and then you are done.